Introducing the glasses of the future. Cutting edge technology ahead of its time. The eyewear of tomorrow. Hey, Ty here. So welcome to the VR Tech channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about two major things. The first one is that the Oculus Smart Glasses may arrive sooner than expected. And the second one that we received more rumors from an insider, Apple directly, about their VR headset arriving in early 2021. And also news about the price. Well, let's get into it. All right, first thing first, I wanted to make a video about the AR or smart glasses directly from Oculus yesterday because that's when we had a news, but I didn't want to just talk six minutes about uh, one particular thing. So, well, now we have two topics, so it's gonna be around three minutes, I guess. Anyways, no secret, Oculus is working on smart glasses to deliver this year, actually in early 2021. Now the pandemic could have changed some of their plans, but it was from the beginning that they announced that something would arrive early this year. But when is early this year? Well, it could be very soon because from a patent that we received two days ago from a shell company named Gnome Tarn LLC, Facebook's project area, their area glasses passed through the FCC, so the Federal Communication Certification. So that means that this device passed the certification from Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and GPS antennas. And usually these certifications always arrive when you're trying to bring something to the market. Now, how do we know that Gnome Tarm is actually a shell company for Facebook? Well, for many different reasons, as Protocol points out, Gnome Tarm is a name of the lake in Seattle era and Facebook Oculus team always used in the past beaches or bodies of water for their code names. Also, the pictures in the certification are the same of the one that we saw from Project Area last year. Uh, so that means that it's the same device. And at the same time, we know uh, from the different patents that it runs on Android 7. That it's the same Android version running on the Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2. What does it mean? Well, they're probably going to have the same software over there. But there's something, a catch, uh, kind of something very interesting because uh, we know for sure that they're partnering directly with uh, Ray-Ban. So with Luxottica to create these glasses to make it nice to wear everywhere. We know that they're gonna have cameras, that's why they were in testing for more than a year to understand uh, for privacy issues and something like that, when you can record, what can you record and stuff, uh, because the big idea is to create a world map of the entire world and be able to put pinpoint around and having, of course, point of interest showing up in your glasses. But at the same time, the Facebook and Ray-Ban partnership stops uh, when it comes to having a display, because apparently the glasses that are gonna arrive in partnership with Ray-Ban are not gonna have a display. So Project Air may actually be something different. We saw that Facebook bought Plessy, a micro OLED display company for AR headsets last year. Uh, so that's a screen that we're gonna see for sure. But now that we know more in the background for these glasses, we know that it might arrive sooner than expected. The only thing that we don't actually know yet if they're gonna be the smart glasses from Ray-Ban and Facebook of is gonna be this project area also with the display. So well, time will tell, but it's super interesting the fact that it's running on Android 7, so we can expect the same polish of the Oculus software. It's pretty cool. But now let's go to the second big thing today, that is the Apple glasses. We already talked about it in the past video. I'm gonna put it over here or in the description below. Uh, by the way, we know that Apple is working on something. Uh, we know that they're working from very, very long, and we know that they're trying to make something, of course, different as they always do uh, from what is already in the market. We also know that it's gonna be very expensive and I'm gonna be uh, very straightforward right now. Uh, the new rumors talks about $3,000 headset. So yeah, expect it. But what we're gonna have there and what the rumors are talking about is a 2 AK display, a very sleek design, very similar to the new headphones from Apple. By the way, this image is created by an artist in contact with the person who of course provided the rumors and insider in Apple. So uh, they try to recreate a little the idea of what they saw uh, in the prototype, of course. So this is not a final version or stuff. It is an interpretation of all the informations that we know. So going back, it's gonna have interchangeable handbands, it's gonna have a dozen of cameras for the tracking and tracking, eye tracking, and eye tracking is gonna be used by the M1 chipsets to, of course, have foveated rendering because the 8K displays are not gonna run, of course, at full resolution all the time. So uh, they're probably trying to push as much as possible the resolution to don't have a screen door effect. And at the same time, they're using eye tracking to have foveated rendering so they can push the resolution higher where you're looking at, and of course, keeping it down all around. That is the solution that we want to see, of course, in every video headset from very very long and is still not arriving so probably we're gonna see it in the near future in 2022 early 2022 that's what they're talking about in this rumor directly from Apple so yeah apparently it's gonna be slick standalone in a super high resolution and it's gonna cost 
lot of money. But hey, uh, it's from Apple, so would you be willing to pay $3,000 for something like it? Or are you just uh, okay with the $2.99 of the Oculus Quest and so you can buy one for you and uh, nine others for uh, all your friends? But yeah, for today's all, guys, are you interested in some uh, AR glasses from Oculus or some uh, uh, smart glasses without the screen? How would you use them uh, just with maybe uh, you know, a virtual assistance or something like that, but the one on the Oculus doesn't work uh, really, really well, so I don't know what it will use. Um, we are gonna see, of course, uh, cameras all around and uh, Facebook in the background. It could be a little sketchy, uh, let's be honest, but hey, uh, in the future, we're gonna have those kind of stuff for everyone, so uh, it's better to get used to it, or should we? Anyway, that's all. If you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, just like. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. And if you really love the channel, the join button down there. Little down further, also the Patreon with prior access to videos. And at the same time, we have t shirts, sticker, and masks, 2020 item, 21 item number one. Um, again, that's all. Like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.